Okie dokie. Gonna give homework one a shot using Xcode. I have to confess that I am not an Xcode expert, so bear with me. So I want to create a project. I'm going to call this project homework one. It needs to be a Mac OS project for a command line tool. Homework one, and it is a C++ project. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Probably be better to put it somewhere else, but for now. So notice that it created main.cpp for me. I want to add uh, new files for the numbers class. So I can do that here by adding a new C++ file. I'm going to call it numbers. And I want it to also create the header file. And this goes in homework one. So it creates numbers.cpp and numbers.hpp. Don't usually uh, use HPP as an extension myself, but we'll roll with this one. And I also need to create a main.h. Now for the for Autolab, it has to be called main.h. So I can create a header file here, main.h, and that's going to go into homework one. I can also create a new empty file. If you scroll down, you notice that you can create an empty file. So I'm going to create an empty file for my make file. And I'm going to create an empty file for my honor statement. Okay, so there are all the files I need for the project. I'm going to take a quick pause, throw in the information into those files, and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got all of the uh, code <clears throat> in the various files. So here is main.cpp, numbers.cpp, numbers.h, main.h, we got my honor statement. And then let me just make a comment about my make file. So here's my make file. And notice over here that I'm indenting using spaces. Remember that this indentation of a command line must be a tab. So I need to go and change this to a tab. And then I need to insert tabs for each of these commands. Now I can save that. So that'll work. So now I'm ready to test my code on CS class, and then I can zip it up and upload it to Autolab. So I'm gonna do that next. I can also test it on my Mac uh, also. So I've got my command line, remember that. I put this on the desktop, it is in homework one, and then the code for this project is in a directory that's also called homework one. There's all my code, my honor statement, my make file. If I've installed the command line tools, all I need to do is type make. It'll build my project. I can run a dot out, hit control D, and that calculates the average. Now I'm ready to move this project over to CS class and test it. One thing I could do is I could use FileZilla to navigate, transfer my files over. I tend to like uh, command line a little bit better. So to do that, I can just say SFTP Maloof M at CS class. Now normally you'll get a login. I set my account up so I don't need to provide a login. I can look at my directory. Notice that I've got a homework one directory in there. So I can change directory to homework one. Maybe I've got some old files in there from uh, you know, a, pr a previous upload. 
but I'm going to put all of the files that I have in my directory over on CS class. You can see it uploading. Now I can quit secure FTP. Now I can log in to CS class. Well, you have to type your net ID and now it lets me in. I can go to change directory to the homework one directory and now I can make my project run it type in a few numbers and see that it works so now I'm ready to submit so now back over on my Mac one thing I can do is I can use the command line version of zip here I could say zip submit dot zip and type in all of the files on my project slightly easier thing to do is to put the zip file in the directory in the parent directory the directory above this one and since I want all of these files to be in my zip file I can type star star just matches with all the files in the current directory so you can see that they're added now when I change back to the parent directory there's my zip file you can also use the whoops you can also use the finder to do this so here is uh, well so let's just you know go back through right so desktop here's homework one here's the code of my project I can hit command a that will select all of the files then if I hit control and mouse click you can see that I have an option to compress all six items I select that it gives me archive.zip and now I can change this to submit.zip now I'm ready to submit to Autolab so I go to Autolab and I go to my compile check and I say submit here's let me go back through it right desktop homework one there's my zip file it uploads I wait I refresh and I can click here and I can see the transcript of what the compile check did If I go back I can click the magnifying glass and that will show me the files that I actually uploaded it's a good idea to check this before you actually uh, or after you submit just to make sure that you really did submit the files that you intended to so now that I've performed the homework check I can go to homework one and I can submit this it's telling me I have zero submissions left but since I'm an instructor I think I get a pass so now it sits here I refresh you can see that I got a hundred and this is the transcript you can see that it made clean and then it makes your project here's my honor statement and then these are the tests that it ran again I can use the magnifying glass to look at the files that I actually submitted that's it